interrupt this recording to bring you the Glitches Get Stitches podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, it's GGS, and my name is John. My what, name what? Uh, Jeb. No, no. My name <laughs> Dukes. That's right. Welcome back, universe, to a brand new episode, number one hundred eleven. We're doing some crazy shit over here at the Two GS Show at Glitches Get Stitches podcast. Find us on everything you're looking at: Instagram, Twitter, Hover, whatever that is, TikTok, Discord. That's this. Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. Like, share, hit that follow if you haven't already. If you missed this live podcast or want to catch up on any of the podcasts that we've had, visit for free on 4 Eyed Radio Network, iTunes, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube for the extra credit because we're building a giant fleet over on there. <laughs> on today's episode, we make fun of a little baby bitch boy, John John. That's not me or this guy next to me either. Who's sick to make, too sick to make it. Uh, Jeff and I plan world domination with GGS, and we have a super top secret announcement to make that you guys are going to hear a little bit later. So gather around and grab hold tight. Let's go. Jacob already hey, blew. Jeff. Jacob already blew the announcement. Ah, John, John's, out. John's out. Yeah, John's All out. Right. That's, this is actually the All 2D right. show. Yep. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Hi. Anyway, how you doing, Jeff? Oh, I'm good. You know, it feels like a little lighter in here something yeah oh, what is it it's well when you get rid of the elephant in the room then there's <laughs> there, no elephant there is so no elephant <laughs> there's no ele- elephant at all uh how's your streams going uh good i mean we we just we ran through d4 so that like threw a wrench in like normal plans and yeah. all the other new games coming out so uh i think going back to we'll finish up resident evil I'm thinking that's going to be next. How are you liking the the remake? Um, it was it was it was a rough start. I knew it was going to be different. I just had to get used to how different it was, because that first intro in the village is all it was hard both ways, and they had fixed part of it. Like they fixed a cheese from the original. You probably didn't play it, but there was like a barn you could go up, like the ladder, sit there, and then wait for. Guys, to come up, just pop and them off the one at a time. Off, right? No, you you just hit them once with a the handgun, they'd fall down and keep coming up, and you would kill time like that. But when you run up the ladder in this one, the floor collapses. You can't oh. you can't do it at all. So it threw me through a loop. I was getting a little pissed off, but <laughs> I, I was watching somebody stream it. Uh, a couple like uh, the the beta, like I don't know, maybe earlier this week or something like that. Or it, it is way the week last week, I guess. And uh, I saw a dude ran up to a ladder. And there was a ladder on each side, or a ladder on each one side, and then there was like a little, like a uh, little small, like wooden plank bridge to like another barn. And he oh. was going back and forth, and every time he would like shoot against a couple zombies here, kick the ladder, turn around, start shooting the the zombies that came up from the other ladder on the plank. Oh, in the little in the little farm area. He's too smart for me. I didn't think. Yeah. About, <laughs> I didn't think about that. Uh, so how long you got in left in Resident Evil Four? Do you think? Oh, um, depending on how well I do. Uh, there's probably a good 20, 20 hours. Okay. Without like you know full like full completing and doing shit, but so it'll be it. Oh, it'll actually it might actually last me until the new uh, Jedi comes out. Oh, nice. in April. So that's like yeah, Jedi Survivor. I keep forgetting that's like right around the corner now. It's like April. April twenty eighth, I believe, is when uh, that drops. Oh, is it really? Is it that late? Twenty eighth. Yeah, it's it's the twenty eighth. I, I, so I was just streaming um, Fallen Order, yeah. and John was mentioning um, that it comes out the twenty eighth. 
Oh, okay. I, I thought it was sooner, but I thought it was the 19th or the 16th or something, but something else comes out that day. Oh, it, got, exactly it, got pushed, it did get pushed back, though. It got pushed yeah. back to the 20th. So I might be Resident Evil for that if I don't run into any hiccups. So, we'll see. And then we get Diablo 4 on uh, the 2nd, actually, because we get it a couple days earlier for early access. We did. So I, bought, I bought that upgraded pre-order. Yeah, so did I. I. I've spent 100 bucks on it. I said, fuck it, whatever, I'm doing it. Yeah. I'm going to play the game and I can't wait, so... Uh, well, for me, I, I've been playing everything like normal. We're playing Call of Duty. We're playing. We're playing Star Wars Jedi: Fallen Order. Uh, you name it, I'm probably streaming it at some point. Uh, I've been doing a lot of backlogging with uh, trying to hit Horizon again, trying to hit God of War. Um, I will be tapping into everything. I mean, it's just how I am. Marvel's Midnight Suns, but yeah, they just had you know, DLCs. Just, yeah, they did. They have two DLCs actually now. Now you can have Venom on your party, which is the first DLC. And now you can have Morbius. Um, yeah, I think that's the one I saw. Yeah, which is the newest one, which uh, it's cool. I don't plan on getting it just because I don't play enough of it. And I think it's like 20 bucks each DLC. If it was like five bucks, I think I'd get it, but I'm pretty sure it's like 20 bucks. Yeah. No, save and I already, it. there's so much in that story already. You got to save it until you're like so like dead, it. dead in the water, nothing to play. <laughs> yeah, well, that's not a thing. Yeah, for me. that's me dead in the water is 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 having my backlog yeah. and like, well, I got nothing else to play. Yeah, Let's so then there's like, I'm gonna replay something I've already played ten thousand times. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And that 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 game has so much. Like, I I'm about thirty hours into it, which I know is not a lot. I mean, in reality, but even John is way farther than me. I think he's like fifty or sixty hours, and there's still so much more in the game to to do. Yeah um yeah with lilith and all that all that side story friend simulator and all that shit <laughs> but um you know let's let's just hop into the next segment here and let's that is it. friends with benefits <laughs> uh new game called chichia it's like kind of like a wind waker vibe got going on with the with the graphics and everything um the the, the, the shading of all the colors um uh is it just for pc uh, it's not actually. It's it's gonna be oh. for it's for PlayStation and PC, I believe, only, right? Isn't it out on the? Um, wasn't that part of one of the, the I think the monthly games for PlayStation Plus? Yeah, I believe so. I I haven't checked. I haven't tried my PS Five in actually, a couple think, days, so it, it might be April's. So it might not be. Yet. Yeah. Yeah. Supposedly it's getting good reviews. Um, I might check it out. I'm sure John will check it out, especially if it's a free to play mm -hmm. game and uh, and there's gliders, so you know he'll oh, be all over that. Instant. He's already got it pre-downloaded. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, if it's free, I'll, um, I'll add it to my library. Have, just, you who knows on it? have you seen some gameplay on it? Uh, not actually. Uh, no. I think I'm thinking of a different. So game. I have loaded up right here. I actually have the trailer. Oh, okay. Uh, we, we can go ahead and um, we can just watch that real quick. Yeah, let me know, when you, let me know when you start uh, your start your sh video share. It's ready for you. All right. I don't think this is the one I'm thinking of. Oh no, this is the one I'm thinking of. You hop into like the body of animals and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, and like you learn. It's Wind Raker Dora the Explorer. Yeah. But I think when you like, when you hop into new animals and stuff, you learn new moves or something. Yeah, new abilities or something. Yeah. Oh, that's Genshin climbing right there. Yep. Just, oh my, that's ripped straight from... Alright. Look at that, that's pretty cool. The slide's cool. The glide? Oh, the glide takes energy? That's kind of weak. That's like uh, like Zelda. Like Breath of the Wild. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh, God. Oh. That's a fruit. It looks like a balloon. Yeah. The more balloons you eat, the more stamina right? you get. Oh yeah, you're gonna lunge. All right, cool. All right, all right, that's cool. You'll spend a lot of time in the air, so why not add a bit of style to it? You can do spins and flips and even dives. Oh, that reminds me of Spider-Man. Yeah. We want you to emulate the excitement of getting lost into a rich, unknown world. This is why we designed our map system without a player marker. We think this encourages observation and exploration, and makes finding your way around the archipelago much more. Dude, it's like pretty open world. It looks super open world, yeah. I'll definitely check this out. And using orientation signs will narrow down your position, forcing you to explore and interact with the world. Oh, you have to find the signs to help you. Yeah. 
you can use your trusty boat. It is easy to sail, but still requires you to be active, as you need to manage both your sail and steering paddle. And while exploring, you will also find docks that unlock fast travel destinations to let you get around the world faster. Chia. Chia or Chia? Oh, soldier. Chia. Shmamp. Look, it's John. <laughs> Just jumped into John's body. <laughs> also John's body. <laughs> I could be a beach ball? Fuck yeah. And a centipede? Oh, a centipede? I start slowing and she's able to warp into nearby objects. Oh, dude. Some objects have different a directions. teddy bear? You can be Ted? Are you just throwing yourself around? It doesn't even walk. <laughs> Forget to a laundry. Oh, a lamp? Oh, oh you can, That's kinda cool. you can throw it. Oh. It's up to you to be creative and discover fun ways to use objects. Soul jumping into animals. Oh, so that's how you. So, oh, a crab. We have, oh, fruits? Inanimate objects all have souls. Yep. This game proves it. Flipper? Oh, 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 there's John. That's John right yeah, there. Never mind. We found him. Using your soul jumping Meow! This is Stray. And more inventive to get into your journey faster. You can upgrade it permanently by consuming super rare fruits. Oh. Uh, oh, she's going to be high for hours on that one. Oh, yeah. As well as progressing through the story will unlock the full potential of Chia's soul jumping power. Chia. Yeah. 20, coming at 2023. What's already out, I believe, or coming out yeah, next? Yeah, I think it's free. Let me stop recording. Um, that was actually really fucking cool. That's more than I thought it was gonna be. That was that was the game I was thinking of though. I forgot it was called Chia. Yeah, Ch -ch -ch Chia. Do you think you can grow hair or grass out of your head in that game? Depends on what you morph into. You can grow hair off your balls. Hmm. You jump into John, the John cow that shits everywhere. Speaking of John, D4 beta has ended. Um, and yes. personally, I am super excited to play it. I can't wait for the release. Um, what do you think, Jeff? Are you going to be hitting that pretty hard? Oh, yeah. I, I'm definitely going to be hitting that hard because it it's barely... It's touched on, like, nothing of the game almost. Like, it's a, it's a longer beta than most games will ever give you. Oh, like yeah. the first twenty five percent of the story. It was more of an early access than a beta, in my opinion. Yeah, like, because it, was... it let you, it, it let you get to level twenty five, which is at least I don't know ten to twelve hours of playing. Yeah, if you do, if if you like the last when I streamed it, um, the last time I just wanted to rush to try to help get a character to twenty as quick as possible. Yeah. So like we did it in like three hours, but there is an easy ten. 10 to 12, if you do every single thing, like every side quest in the first act, you can get 10 plus hours. E oh, yeah. E easily. I just, when you rush and ignore everything, it's just like, it's like speed running. Mm -hmm. Which, I, uh, yeah. I, the cutscene, everything about the game aesthetically is beautiful. Uh, like, it definitely, it's like a cleaned up graphic version of Diablo 2, of like how dark everything is and like not how. Diablo 3 was like very bright as far as like the all everything was br so much brighter and like it was a lot uh, brighter like more cartoony almost yeah it was it lost it gained uh, some of the the gameplay i enjoyed but it lost a lot of the dark gritty of yeah. the Diablo series so i get i get, I get all the critique but now this feels like the perfect mix so far of the dark of one and mm -hmm. two and some of the gameplay that makes it easier and more accessible to everyone else than the hardcore and, grind of two mm -hmm. and uh, just all the cutscenes that i've i mean all the the storyline cutscenes are beautifully done uh oh, yeah. and so fucking dark and twisted like i mean i'm not gonna dive into it for people who didn't get to play the beta or anything like that but that whole uh, being in the church with the pastor yeah. build coming out, dude, yeah. that was I, I I like I took I had to sit back for a second. I was like, oh my god, this is way darker than anything I've been playing right now. Like as like it's a little scary. It's kind of cool. Yeah, they add those those shits. Those were like the in between the one cinematics you'd get in D two and mm -hmm. D three. Like you finish an act. It gives you a little cinematic. Finish a full act. It gives you a little cinematic. This is tossing them in like 
So we had like three in the first mm-hmm. act right there alone. Yeah. <laughs> so And they are they're so freaking good. Yeah, it's uh, gonna be uh and I love that it takes like your actual character. So like customizing your character makes a like a difference. <laughs> Oh yeah. Usually I don't give it like a shit because you're staring at the back of your character's head, mm-hmm. but the little cutscenes and like in-game transition scenes, just mm-hmm. like frontal of your character. So, which like... for me is one of my favorite things that games actually do is like because you remember like older games. I want to say older, older, but like you know like maybe let's say five six years ago where you'd have your customization. You go into a cutscene and then your what your character is wearing is the the basic character model like you don't you don't yeah. see any of your like your gear. gear that you've been working for like it's just like all right here's uh your fucking blue armor that you that you're gonna always look like in your cutscene but when you go back into your normal into the actual game you're all decked out in your legendary or whatever kind of gear you're running for whatever game yeah oh yeah exactly that's why it's that's why i was like even from the very the very first like intro when you're walking in the forest and then someone gets dragged off or something i'm like you see what you're wearing and your all your characters customizations it's yeah it's so it's so freaking cool i'm i'm thoroughly excited with that being said uh who what class are you gonna main um uh, for every diablo game i've always done a barbarian first so okay i started the early access with a barb to see how it is and i loved it so I'll be going Barbarian first, and then probably Rogue second okay. after that. Nice. Well, if we play with each other, which I'm sure we will at some yeah. point, um, I will be running a Necro. Uh, Necro has mm-hmm. always been a main for me. I love the aesthetic of Necro because I'm a little goth away at some points. But <laughs> I, just like the whole summoning skellies and, and everything like that, and then just sending him out to explode or like the the what they the new thing that they added which you didn't get to actually see in the beta was the uh, wall of blood which is a uh it's an uh, uh, the, the necro's main um ultimate ability and it sends out like a wall of blood like the shining oh and, yeah you could you could get it you just had to level up to it oh was it i i, I thought they took one out no there was because uh, i got i went because yeah when, once you get to the ultimate ability part of the tree it's like 23 or something so like you got to get oh, okay, okay you got to get all the way down there you could choose between it was called like army of the dead where it summons a bunch of skeletons but then they run and like just explode on people yeah yeah they had the blood one you're talking about and then the bone one puts a like a whirlwind of bone around you and your golem that does damage for like 10 seconds and oh, that's sick so you just had to get to 23 i think to, oh, okay maybe to that's why it. yeah that's all but yeah, the wall of blood with that AOE damage over time, it's it's so freaking cool to yeah. watch. It looks so so nice. Yeah. Um so yeah, we'll be definitely hitting that. It's four players. We can all join up. It's crossplay, which is I think amazing for a Diablo game. Um I don't know why I would step would, into that. It would never be. Like it's no one gains an advantage playing on console over. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um PC. exactly. And sometimes it's actually, I don't know, for me, sometimes I'll switch back and forth because I get like tired of holding my mouse button or clicking my mouse button oh, where to go yeah. versus where I can just use my analog stick to yeah. to uh, scroll over. But uh, so Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles graphic novel, The Ronin, uh, is getting a AAA game that's uh, inspired by God of War, which every game should be inspired by. Um, yeah. Do you know anything about the Ronin story, Jeff? No, I know that it's um, it's fairly recent though. It's like twenty twenty. I think it wasn't it like a graphic novel. Yeah, it came out within the last four years, but and I've only seen a couple pictures, but I picture more if uh, if they go the God of War route, you like you're not gonna have a problem doing that. But when yeah, I a hack, when, a hack and slash, I mean, yeah, when I picture like a Ronin type story, I want to try and see them do a triple A take with the four turtles but ghost style oh yeah <laughs> over, even like multiplayer like that too over god of war i don't know how they want to mix it in but they're both those are both triple a games and i think single player when i go god of war but you have all the turtles yeah which i think might work better and i think the ronin, ronin story um i think the ronin story actually is where there is only one turtle left i think the other turtles have oh, all is it? been killed off oh okay yeah then oh 
Oh, that, well, actually, that could work work both ways too. Yeah, <laughs> a gnarly ghost backstory where there's mm-hmm. one left. Or give me like a, a yeah, like give me like a Tenchu, yeah. like or 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 even like a Sekiro. Um, you know, obviously easier because Sekiro's, in my yeah. opinion, very hard and not fun. <laughs> yeah, even though I just I just redownloaded it and was playing. I'm like, I don't. Why did I do this? I deleted yeah. it instantly. Why did I do? Um, but like, give me some. Yeah, give us something like Tenchu or like that, like that ninja style not like um what's um oh, i can't do the name right now for the playstation 5 um it just came out like last year or two years ago we all played it samurai why am i dropping the name uh it's a playstation exclusive not not ghost right ghost of shima yeah not like that like give me more oh, sneaky no. i wanted yeah. it like that but may, you can you make like it that? Yeah. you can make it i i went like i went sneaky the whole up until you got a certain set of, I, I, until you got a certain set of armor then it was just awesome to not be sneaky but i love this you could just make it go style but only be sneaky like okay. get, you get punished harder if you get exposed yeah you can do that's, that that's fair uh mikey says like well long yeah exactly like that kind of souls like but maybe like Ooh, like even like hard. the star wars uh je- like the star wars game i was just playing like a little bit yeah. easier on the souls like um ray says it's michelangelo he's the only one left that is uh he carries all the masks and weapons that's pretty sick actually oh so that's then, uh oh i can see where I, it might go more god, god of war style there yeah where, switching weapons out real quick yeah or like they could be like he has all the weapons and has to learn how to master them and you like have different shit you go to do to master one than the next just, and the next just imagine like blocking with like you went from like this the bow staff yeah. to like like blocking pushing off spring out your your samurai yeah. oh dude it can yeah. it leads to so much really cool uh detail and in, in everything um so horizon forbidden dlc is coming out um it's called burning shores it drops the 18th so that's the one i was thinking that came out earlier something came out earlier I forget uh that. you can pre-order today i think it's only 20 bucks uh, it is yeah it's only 20 bucks yeah, so that's not that's not too bad for a DLC. I'm hoping, I imagine twenty bucks is probably four hours of gameplay, five hours maybe. I'd be um they could if you if you go off of the um the last DLC it was called the Frozen Tundra or something Frozen Tundra Frozen Waste or something. Yeah, that one had a lot. It had way more than four hours in it. So I don't know if they're going off that. I also I did like hundred percent it, so Yeah. It could be it's at least over ten hours. But for So with bucks, that being said, do you are you gonna get this? Yeah, I just totally forgot it came out too. I was so, gonna say, yeah. I mean the eighteenth, that gives you that gives you ten days between um that DLC and uh the twenty eighth, which you were just talking oh, um Dude, we were just talking about the twenty eighth comes out. Oh, Jedi, Jedi. Thank you. Uh, so that yeah. gives you ten days. That gives you what, like four, sh- like or two streams, maybe that you could probably finish. Okay, we'll if you see. do a little bit off, off uh, offline. If I do offline, yeah, I might. I could let John do that because I, I'll, I don't think I'll beat Resident Evil by the eighteenth. Okay. So I think I have to take it like a stream day or two off between them so yeah well, that's fair i mean you but know, we've got so many games to play right now I have so many yeah well that's gonna be really sweet i can't wait for that to come out uh i am still in the middle of playing it but i will definitely watch it and probably wait till it's a free you know dlc for you know a couple oh. years from now but who knows but now you now you gotta you gotta finish horizon because of uh lance yeah the lance reddick it's... Yeah, seriously. I mean, I actually wanted to even go back and uh, hop into Destiny really quick and you know give my oh uh, I, I my was, salute. I was to, seeing uh, all those posts everywhere yeah, for like it was really cool the last two weeks. And then I mean, I've been watching. I, I'm probably rewatching now uh, Legend of Vox Machina and um, mm. the second well first yeah the second season. He plays like the main dragon, like the main evil dragon. So it's yeah. uh, it's really cool hearing that. Um, so Doctor Disrespect has a new game coming out that we did watch a trailer on a few uh uh very, what's called back very um long time it's a, it's 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 supposed to be a br from what i've read it's supposed to compare against warzone which i mean Doesn't, good luck <laughs> yeah 
uh, it's you have Call of Duty over your your name as Doctor Disrespect. Well, we'll see what happens. Uh, it's getting mixed reviews from what I've seen. It's more not so positive reviews, but also I kind of feel like that's a lot of haters. A lot of people that are just like eh, I don't want Doctor Disrespect uh, to yeah. come out with the game. Eh, but yeah. at the same time, like we still need we need more. Uh, we need more to see what the game is. You know, I want, we need more detail. We need more videos. It needs to, from what I've seen, it it's lacking a lot of polish, a lot. Mm -hmm. Even over, yeah, because I remember the first time we watched it, and it was, it looked pretty rough, but it was super early. Mm -hmm. And then the recent ones, it looks better, but also, like, I don't, the only new details or special things I see about it is, like, they mixed in like ex you can ex you have to extract, yeah. At some points, like, and there's like a like DMC or uh or Tarkov. Yeah, and, shit. and there's a several different ways to extract at several different points. I think that made it stand out from other modes mm -hmm. like that for BRs. But still watching the gameplay, I'm like, it just looks still weak. <laughs> so I remember I streamed uh, maybe a year ago. It could have been less. Um, there is a game i think it was called scavenger it was a i played the beta of it i i believe it was on epic games you could download it for free and it was a br but also had that same extraction so you go to the extraction point and there's only one so once the circle gets small enough there's only like one extraction point so you have whatever teams are left going to that extraction point and you can either go in there and kill the other team or you're fighting around it but whoever's in that extraction once it goes off you're the winner yeah, that's it. So yeah. I'm I'm curious to see what Doctor's Respect Cycle Frontier. That's the one. Um, yeah, thank you, Mikey. I curious to see what's gonna happen with it if it does well. I will for sure try it out unless it's a. I mean, unless yeah. it's a paid game. If I don't it's know, free, I will yeah. wait. If it's twenty bucks, maybe I'll download it. Why not? I I I you know I have I have respect for Doctor Disrespect, but you know I'm I'm curious to see what he has in store if it's going to be a good game maybe i'll even watch a couple of his streams but i definitely want to try it out it just um, looks so i don't think it's going to do anything with cod i don't think it's going to compare no to be no. honest just just watching the gameplay unless it's a couple of years out still i'm just it like yeah it almost reminds me of like halo one just like mm -hmm. weird like yeah i don't know it seemed really stiff. Like when, when yeah. I was watching the movement, like it's like it's it just stiff. seemed really stiff and not. There was no fluidity of like the movement from like reloading and everything like that. But it was also just it was like just sh a show off, showing like what he has as far as graphically. But oh yeah, no, I that's why I'm like, there's if he's still got another like a few years under his belt, there's probably a lot, a lot more he can do with it yeah. to, to get there. But it's I mean, it's what, all he... early shit. He was one of the map developers for what Call of Duty Modern Warfare Two original or for uh, Modern Warfare One. I forget. I know he was a map developer for for Call of Duty at some point uh, early on. So maybe he has it in him. I mean, we will we'll just have to wait I mean, and see. Yeah. But uh, everybody, let's get ready for the m m main segment. For a while, mm. we have been a triple stack, wreaking havoc on the whole streaming world because that's what we do. Uh, until we got banned by John. Anyways, we'll now saddle up partner for the fourth horseman. There's going to be there's four oh, of us, even though there's, there's two, only two of us yeah, here right, right now. now. <laughs> but at some point, you will see four people on this screen. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please give a nice, warm welcome to a very, very long-time mod and friend and a new face around the GGS uh, squad a thousand times, Mr. Mikey Henricks. Oh, he like timed that perfectly. Up, he timed that Mikey? perfectly. That was great. What's up, guys? <laughs> What's up? How you guys doing? Good. How are you? Oh, we're better now. Join the discussions on the video games. Yeah, uh, we're yeah, we're more nice. than happy to have you, man. You've been so uh, glad not to hear John. No? Oh, I know, isn't God. it? Nice? It's yeah. been oh, so smooth, God, dude. Fuck. Maybe maybe I just need to run him from now on. Nobody froze. Nobody froze. <laughs> it's uh yeah, uh but Mikey, so welcome to the team. Thank this you. is really exciting. Uh, exciting. Really big news for us. You've been a mod for a really long time, for three years. You've been killing it. Uh, personal friend of mine, we game a lot. Call of Duty, everything that we can game multiplayer. Uh, you stream with us as far as like other games. Play with Jeff as well, with John, Overwatch, Call of Duty all together. 
Um, how you feeling? How what, what's uh, what do you what do you what are you ready for, man? Um, yeah, I'm ready to ready to get into some stuff you guys don't like. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> the games you don't like to play, I do, and I feel I feel like that's a good dynamic. It is. It's perfect. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah. Like one of the first games I want to come and stream in is Sons of the Forest. Um, nice. I play. I have seven eight hundred hours in Rust. I want to do a, some gameplay of that. Uh, like indie games and stuff. Like I find on Steam, you know, just stuff like that. But I like the the hardcore survival, the horror survival, all that stuff. Well, that's gonna be really fun to watch because uh, you, we don't play enough of that stuff of, the, of those games. Um, yeah. I hop on every yeah. once in a while with you when you play them. Uh, you know me, I have gnarly ADHD. It's hard for me to really pay attention to stuff like to those kind of games. That's why I'd rather just go shoot shit. Oh yeah. <laughs> He's my friend. Uh, yeah. With you being part of the team, um, what was your first uh, GGS stream that you watched? Like, what really got you can into you, watching? Can you us? remember? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, do you guys remember the, the app for Xbox Mixer? Yes. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. So that's where I first started watching streaming. I never like really got into it. Thought Ninja was a fucking dweeb. Like, I didn't really care for <laughs> any of that. Well, I I watched this one guy on Mixer one night, and he was like real cool, really relatable, had kids. Like, he was. It, it, it was really cool so i got into watching streaming well then mixer kind of closed down and i didn't really want to hop on the twitch bandwagon quite yet just because i felt like i don't know everybody it was just like when it was super popular and i don't like to ride the bandwagon but i was on facebook one night and i seen john playing overwatch and i never like i heard of overwatch I had a couple friends who played it i wasn't really interested in it couldn't quite get it but uh, I remember, yeah, I had my wiener out. I was watching John and just kind of, you know, led from there. And then I, I like, and I'd never heard of multi people stream teams. Like, I had no idea that you guys were even a part of it. But then, so as soon as I, I, as soon as I found out there was more than one person, I was like, this is awesome. I, 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 I can stay here. I don't have to like move around between a bunch of people. So once I found you guys and like I got to know you guys, it was just, I felt like I was at home here. So. Well, again, it's very welcome to have you, man. Yeah. Really Thank cool you. to have you part of this team. Uh, so with that being said, um, what are you going to stream first with us? Uh, they like I say, it's Sons of the Forest. I did put a few hours into it already because I bought it like two or three weeks ago. Couldn't just keep looking at it. Uh, I refrained from doing like any of the story. Like I went just a little bit into the story. Um, so I think what I'll do is I'll end up just starting a new game, starting bare bones and just you know show everybody what the game's about because it's not just like you go in there and you go do fetch quests and shit like this they don't tell you anything it's just like a survival game you just they give you like a survival kit and then they're like here's a bunch of crazy cannibals on the island yeah. good luck and nice man it's and it's up to you to figure out like they tell you why you're there but they're it's up to you to figure out why like why you're stuck on this island so i think it'll be really cool and there's a lot of building aspects and it's a very beautiful game and it's it's got enough it's not like too horror, but it's got enough horror where it keeps you on your toes. Like I've been, I probably have like twenty hours in it, and I still scream in the middle of the night when I like turn around <laughs> and there's somebody behind me. So I think it'll be fun. That's awesome, man. It's like going so, to John's house. Yeah, yeah exactly. Basically. Yeah. Lights yeah. out, stepping on dog shit. It's a scary yeah. thing. Yeah, landmines, dog shit, same yeah, thing. Yeah, it's it's absolutely terrifying. You turn around, John's there. standing there. <laughs> I'm like sitting in the hallway and mashing <laughs> onesies. Both of them, they're sitting together and like it's like yeah, it's like uh, it's the shining, <laughs> the shining up. Yep. I'm over there laying on the bed, uh, uh, and I just like hear the door creak open, and I'm like, oh. Uh. Hello? <laughs> My pants are on now. <laughs> uh, what are you... So when is your first stream? Um, I think my next stream, or my first stream, will be next Wednesday. Because that's... Uh, I, I'm i going to try and make, like, Wednesday, like, afternoon, like, my, you know, for sure day, then kind of float around there. So I think it'll be next Wednesday. Oh, man, it's going to be... Yeah, that's going to be exciting. We'll, we'll all make sure we catch in on that. We'll share it, like, everything that we can to... You have everybody experience you, but we already have an amazing community that's going to want be here watching for your first stream and then continue watching you and the rest of us as much as they can because you guys are wonderful. Yeah, I love you guys. Yeah, love you too, yeah, man. Yeah. Again, welcome to the team. Um, thank you. That is, I believe, all we have. We had an exciting announcement. Mikey's part of the team. We have a lot of games that are coming out, a lot of DLCs, a lot of stuff to look forward to and play and uh, give you guys the content that you so much deserve. Uh, do you guys have anything to say? Uh, other than thank you for having me, and I hope that uh, you know we can just expand this crazy thing we got going. Yeah, no, oh, just, yeah, man. Just glad we uh, finally got Mikey on. 
it's gonna yeah, be it's I, gonna be a blast to play all those rare games that like none of us get the chance to play or like <laughs> want to play. Right. Yep. Necessarily. Yep. Like I'll play RuneScape sometimes, you know, chill streams all the time. Hey, why not? School, you know, old grinding, school. grinding some RuneScape, you know, chilling out. Uh, I got some things in the work for apparently, hopefully, it's real loyalty free music. So very like, cool. Ooh. All let's right. just hope that I, I mean if if we test it out and it doesn't work it won't happen but let's just hey, well, you know what uh, everything new that we can get and try everything that we could do you know that's what we're here for yep well oh, yeah. uh that is it for us we went from the three horsemen trying to find that fourth man we're now four horsemen a full squad a full riding rebels uh yeah. love you guys thank you guys very much and stay tuned have a good night, everybody. Bye. Peace.